Hi guys, it's Profile here and welcome to the second part of the video which is about managing your vault. Um, if you haven't checked out the first part of this video, please look in the description for the link and it will take you straight there. So this video is about the dwellers and how to increase the dwellers in your vault. I also give some tips about what to do with your dwellers, what to give them and so on. So yeah. As I said before, uh, you need to get as many dwellers as you can and that means either you're going to wait for them to come from the wasteland uh, once in a while by either, get, by either waiting, which will take ages, or getting a radio station, which would increase the chance of them coming. Uh, another way is by breeding them in the, what's it called, uh, living quarters. So, it's not a good idea to breed too many uh, dwellers as the children don't do anything they just take up your resources so don't do too many at once um, also pregnant women will not fight uh, fight back at like let's say if there's a rad roach or a mole rat infestation they will not fight uh, if there's a raider attack they will not fight they'll just leave the room and start running around the vault so make sure you don't have too many pregnant women, and if, and if they are armed with a really good gun, make sure you swap it out with someone else's gun so it can be in use. A way to ensure that your dwellers have a very high chance of surviving, uh, let's say a raider attack, or a room on fire, a mole rat uh, infestation, a uh, rad roach infestation, um, basically all you have to do is go through each and every one of your dwellers, this may take quite some time but it's worth it, uh, and then check if they have full health and they have no radiation damage. So if I pick, so he's fine. If I go down, pick this one. She look, she has, she's lost a bit of health. It's not a lot. She will, she will live for quite some time. But it's good to make sure that they all have full health. Just go around finding dwellers that do not have full health and then give them, give them that full health. Make sure they don't have any radiation damage, it might get worse when they go into the wasteland, and yeah. Giving a dweller an outfit uh, which is right for them is vital in Fallout Shelter. Uh, it will increase uh, specific, um, what, what do you call it, uh, specific parts of special which will help them uh, become better at the job they're doing. So, uh, Jack Parker, so this guy, right here, he is in the cafeteria, yep, and in the cafeteria you need agility, so I've decided to give him the handyman jumpsuit, which gives plus three agility, he is now at, uh, nine, uh, he is now at nine agility, which includes a plus three from the jumpsuit, so it's vital, really, it's vital to give the... Uh, dwellers the right outfits so if you give a dweller an outfit that doesn't really increase this part of the special that they need it's not much use you're just wasting your time wasting the outfit could be going to someone else who really needs it so just look at uh, so if you go to this TV thing and then go to the boxes go to outfits you can see what the outfit increases so make sure to look at that and then assign that outfit to the right person. This is a tip that I mentioned in my life hacks and tips for Fallout Shelter. The link will be in the description for that video. So anyway, um, that tip was to give all of your best guns, so the most uh, high powered, high powered, most overpowered guns to the people in the room on the first floor where there are the most of them. When there are more of them so that would be my uh what's it called my power station or power plant uh there are more people uh three of them are on a quest as you can see right now you can see that this guy uh i can't really click on him but he has a weapon um that has i think 14 uh yeah i think it has 14 i think it's a rusty railway gun uh, the guy next to him with the dog has a gun, I think it's like a alien blaster, something like that, I think that's 10 to 13 or something, and then the woman has a rusty shotgun, which is 9, which is good for my level, not really good, I'm really unlucky with guns, I don't get all the best legendary guns, I've never got a minigun, 
Uh, never got anything above 20, which is pretty bad. I don't get much stuff in my lunch boxes. So anyway, doing this will ensure that whenever there is a raider attack, uh, the raider's path is usually the vault door to the next room, to the next room, and then down to this room, to the cafeteria. So that means uh, if there's someone at your vault, uh, at the vault entrance guarding it with a good gun, so enhanced sort of shotgun, 6 day, that's pretty good, they will deal some damage to the raiders. They may not kill them, but they will deal some damage. Uh, they then go on to the residence or the living quarters. There may not always be someone in there, so just in case, if there isn't anyone in there, they'll run straight through it into the power plant. This is where they'll get bombarded with guns and they will die in a mere three seconds, depending on how much health your guard had taken off them. You can see, uh, I was lucky enough to witness a raider attack during recording uh, in my video, The Life Hacks. So make sure to check it out to see it. Now moving on to your dweller safety. Uh, I have mentioned this previously and I said make sure all of your dwellers have no radiation damage and they are full health. Also make sure that at least what at least one dweller in every room that there are dwellers working or staying should have a gun. They should always have a gun. You have no idea when a fire, where a fire is, look right now, room on fire. A uh, fire wouldn't really be, you wouldn't need a gun for, in a fire, for a fire, but it's good to have guns in at least every room where there are de dwellers. You never know where a radroach attack or a mole rat attack, even a raider attack, uh, you never know how far they'll come, maybe a death claw attack, so those are going to be hard. You need a gun in every room. Also, it's handy to have a Mr. Handy, and I did not buy these, no, I did not, like, give money to this game, I got them through doing objectives, and you can get lunch boxes, you can get caps, you can get Mr. Handies, I got these two times for two different objectives, so yeah, just look out for them, make sure you get them. Whenever you have enough caps and you have the required amount of dwellers, Make sure you always build, um, what's it called, let's say the armory, the athletics room, classroom, weight room, uh, the fitness room, the lounge, and the games room. This will allow your dwellers to train and become better at what they're doing. So, I've built the athletics, athletics room, which uh, specializes in agility. So these two people will build up agility eventually. I built the weight room, which I've upgraded so that it will take less time for them to get a higher strength. Uh, I built a classroom, which specializes in uh, intelligence. I built the lounge, which is for charisma. Uh, I built the armory, which is for perception. And I have built the fitness room. I don't see much point in the fitness room because it's for endurance and the only uh, room that I've come across which needs endurance is a storage room and there's not much to do in the storage room. I don't think there's any point of having anyone in the storage room. I mean like I haven't got anyone in my storage room so that's one right there. There's no one in there. Where's the other one? Uh, I've completely forgotten where it is. Oh here it is. Yeah no one in there. I don't see any point. They don't do anything in there. They're just wasting time there's really no point of doing it so i encourage you to build these and then put dwellers in there so they'll be able to raise their special stats uh as you can see i've put this guy in the strength and he's already ne he's near to max uh who else i put her in the strength in the weight room near to max i put him in the weight room near to max uh where else someone else i put him in the armory so he's near to max as well he's on nine uh, him as well, uh, not him, his uh, outfit, see the outfit is really crucial, see perception 6, I got really lucky, that is a very good outfit, so make sure to always put your dwellers in these types of rooms to increase their special stats.